Happy Friday, everyone. It's another fun-filled floss tube update from me, Annie. If you are not familiar with my channel, I am Joy-Filled Stitcher here on YouTube as well as on Instagram. And I this is floss tube number 14, and today is Friday, August the 16th. And we are at floss tube 14. Wow, that's awesome. 14 weekly updates plus a few others smattered here and there and everywhere. And I have some stuff to share with you today. So as the title states, excuse my hair, I'm going to be talking a little bit about what my owl plans were this, were, were this week to go along with Magical Stitches homework. And a little specific about that because that's really where all my stitching was. I'm also going to talk a little bit of some update and what's been going on with me this week. A little bit of plans, a tiny little bit of stash, and that's about it. So I'm hoping we get out of here in under 30. First things first, it was our first week back at school. We had a half day Tuesday, full day Wednesday through Friday. Just got home. It was a great first week. It was a positive way to kick off the week. It has been insanely hot as well. I know I keep saying, oh, it's hot. It's hot. It's going to have to, something's going to give. We had one day this week where the temperature dipped back down just a tiny bit into the 90s, but as of today, when I got in my car after work, it was 105. I think that's the heat index, though. I think that's also part of driving a black vehicle, is um, because by the time I got home, it was 103, because that makes a huge difference. So if you are in a location, I keep saying this, but I'm going to repeat it until we are out of this hot part. I mean, I feel like we've kind of got maybe two more weeks. Labor Day can kind of be that tipping point, but honestly, with fall not officially being here till the middle of September or third week of September, we can be hot. We can be hot all the way, honestly, into October, which is kind of a bummer because I, I like fall weather and my birthday's in October, so technically I should be able to have fall weather for my birthday, but sometimes Mother Nature does not agree with that. So... Had a great first week. I know that a lot of other schools are starting to kind of kick back in gear. If not this week was their first week, the next week. And so if you are a teacher, I wish you a fantastic first week of school with your kiddos. If you're not a teacher and you're a mom and you're sending your kids back, awesome. Enjoy your time with whatever you use your time for. Obviously, I've had a, a whirlwind kind of a day. I was on after school duty today, and so my hair is kind of speaking of the heat it's kind of like it expands a little bit that's the nature of wavy color, wavy hair so that being said you know I wasn't sure exactly how much stitching I was gonna get done this week so this week's magical stitches task and so I'm gonna go a little bit more in detail into what I used because I know that this week was a little bit tricky for some I will be perfectly honest I spent the better part of Sunday just as I was going about prepping for back to school, thinking about what I was going to use, going through and looking at the question threads. I mean, in the, in the end, it's really not a big deal if I don't get credit for something. Um, they are allowing us to be a bit more creative, which is fantastic. But this week was all about the OWL exams. And you had seven core that you had to complete. And you, had, you could pick three electives um, from about, I think, a list of five or six maybe. And you had two choices. You could go for an E, which is like uh, meeting expectations or maybe exceeding expectations. And if you got an E and all, they were, um, it was 100 stitches to get an E. If you wanted an outstanding, you had to do 200 stitches in each. A lot of people went for 200 stitches and I was like, rock on, especially my Ravenclaw friends. I was like, rock on Ravenclaws. Myself, I went conservative and I have already completed my homework as of last night. But if I had done 200 stitches, I would not be finished at this point. And I really wanted to talk about it and what I chose. Um, I am going to share this in a post that somebody said, I think it was Vicki that actually posted and said, hey, if you've shared about your homework in a floss tube, share your link here. So I'm going to post it there in case anybody wants to find me and watch me babble on about homework. Okay, so if you completed all seven core, then you could attempt your electives. If your cores weren't complete, you don't get credit for the electives. 
in order to get the bonus point credit, you had to have all of them complete. So I have completed all of them with 100 or slightly more stitches. So for my first core class, which was astronomy, I chose to use Prairie Schoolers Christmas Tree Farm because there is moon and stars in the pattern. So if you happen to be new and you are not familiar, I am doing a complete color conversion of this project. This is the uh, mock-up from Prairie Schooler. And I am doing this on an 18 count under the sea fabrics. It's an Ada, obviously 18 count, in Ice Princess. And so I add it, and there's still some more hangy flosses because I'm, you know, in the middle of several different counting tasks. So we should do the best we can. So I actually use this for several tasks. So there's uh, 300 stitches in here. So I use this for astronomy because of the moon and stars that will be in the sky. I also used this for defense against the dark arts because um, you learn how to do your Patronus um, in the defense against the dark arts and it has a stag. Uh, James Potter, um, was a, his Patronus was a stag. It also will have a bunny stitch down here and Luna Lovegood's Patronus is a bunny. So I chose to use this for that task. So that was another 100 stitches. And then finally, I used this for divination. And I put in 100 stitches for that task. Um, and it has stars in the night sky. And stars were approved in year three if they are in the night sky because you can use stars as part of your divination. So I put in 300 stitches in these trees down here. And I love how each tree is just a little bit different. You've got some that are similar, but then they're all just kind of got a unique personality. I am doing a complete color conversion. So um, eventually I might put that up um, somewhere, maybe on my blog. Um, however, some of my threads are not readily available. They're um, Victoria Model Limited Edition or whatnot. But I will see about doing that. So that was for three of the tasks, was Prairie School or Tree Farm. Now for two of the tasks, I used the Blue Flower Quilting Bee. So I used this piece for two different tasks. So I'm gonna show you where I am. This is on a piece of 16 count. Picture this plus in Heartland. And it is stitched in all the called fours. Which I think are all gentle arts. This is where I am now. So I put in 100 stitches for the t for the class charms and my reasoning behind it was the immobilis which is a freezing charm. I used the immobilis charm to freeze this bee so that I could get a picture of it with its matching motifs because So I said that was a practical part of the exam, was using the Immobilis charm to freeze my bee. I love this. I love this so much. I have a lot of projects I love right now, but I love this one. I love Prairie Schooler tr Christmas Tree Farm also. Um, it will not be my last Prairie Schooler. It will also not be probably my last one that I convert either. I have a couple others that may be in the works at some point but I kind of am in a good place right now. I think I am maybe officially, after I UFO'd a couple, I think I UFO'd like two or three, and I started two this week. I think I might be at 30 still, and 30 is kind of a good number for me, two more, much more than 30. Oh, Quilting Bee, I'm sorry, I also used Quilting Bee. Oh, for Transfiguration. Um, so transfiguration, I said I was practicing my transfiguration work um, in preparing for my exam. I think this is how I worded it, is that I turned my bed, qui my bed quilt into a bee, something like that. I'm bordering on storytelling at this point. So I didn't know, I think I said that it was while I was practicing for my exams, or maybe on the practical application of my exams, I'd have to go back and look at how I worded it. But I know that I used that reasoning, that I transfigured my bed quilt into that B because it has those quilting motifs on it. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
So, so far we've been through Astronomy, Charms, Defense Against the Dark Arts, Transfiguration. Okay, so one of the other core classes was Herbology. So for this I have a new start. And this is Little House Needleworks. Believe, which is Mark 9, 23. All things are possible to him who believes. And I focus namely on these flowers in this because I said that these flowers look like a flower molly, M-O-L-Y, that is studied in year one of herbology class according to Harry Potter wiki fandom. So let me pull up a picture because I'm going to tell you those flowers look identical, identical to molly. I don't think I could search it that way. Ooh, wait a minute. Harry Potter Herbology. Herbology plants. And it actually gave me, this was one that I had to spend some time really kind of like mulling over thinking about what am I going to use. I didn't really want to do a new start, but this was one I wanted to start this month anyway. So I just started it ahead of time. I'm looking to see if they have a picture of them on here. Let's see. Oh, they do. Okay, so this is... Go away, advertisement. Thank you. So this is what a molly looks like. So like a four-petaled flower. One minute. Um, so, let me show you where I got on this. This is on a piece of Color and Cotton 18 count, and this was one that I got in my mystery, that mystery grab bag, so it's on like an eight by eight piece. And so that one flower was 100 stitches. But doesn't it look just like that Molly flower? So it kind of worked out perfectly. So I'm excited about that. I didn't really want a new start, but I, ha I don't, I think I might be over 30 now, but this is one I wanted to start anyway this month. And so, and it's using the Crescent Colors kit. This was a stash and load find was the complete kit. So that was my first new start um, of the week. <laughs> I had two back to back. All right, so for History and Magic, this was one where I asked a question about it and they said, well, do you have anything with words? I said, I have a lot of things with words, but what did I want to work on with words? So what I chose to work on was my Singa Sampler by Silver Creek Samplers. I'm doing a conversion. This is the Jennifer Drinka and Jan Hicks Creates version, which is multicolored. Um, instead of the more muted tones, it's also in a more square shape as opposed to the long, long, long rectangular. This is on a piece of 18 count from Mystic Fabrics and it is in Snurt. And I believe, as I've said before, she is going to have this one. So I worked on finishing the R in deer. And then the deer's rear. <laughs> the deer's rear. I'm correcting myself. Up. So I put in a hundred and so stitches, a hundred stitches into that. Um, and then again, my reasoning was because lots of words to be stitched on this project. And history of magic involves lots of reading and note taking. There was that. Now for my last core class was potions. I chose to use, I had been dying to find something to use this to stitch with. Um, and you know what? It's sometimes like just not the best fit. Um, but I was like, I'm gonna find something to use it for. I wanted to find more than one, but I just could not. Um, so for potions, I said lace wing fly is a key ingredient in polyjuice potion and this pattern features two wings. So, um, a favorite, and it lives in this pouch, and that is HL's Moth by Kathy Barrick. And this was one that I started as a stitch along in June. I am significantly behind all the folks that are finishing or have finished it. It's okay. I plan on stitching this actually three times. The first time, if you go back to like floss tube three or four, I go through, uh, I get a fit of giggles over my attempt to stitch on 40 count. 
and what a hot mess that was. So I, my plan though is I would like to make the necklace. Um, I am stitching this on a piece of 16 count uh, Veteris or Veteris from Mystic Fabrics. Um, and I am gonna stitch this again. I saw awesome color conversion that was all blues. I love blues. And so that will be on my agenda at some point too. So this will be one that gets stitched at least twice if three, if I decide to finally figure out how to stitch on 40 count without going cross-eyed permanently. So this is where I got to. So I am almost finished with this. It, it's a classic Colorworks tufted yellow. That is not the call for. I went through and pulled from my stash colors that were close to what was in the picture or what was the DMC called for. Um, I have so many fantastic, fantastic uh, fancy flosses that I just decided to pull from my stash. I have a lot of good Victorian motto um, for this pattern. And so, yep, that was classic Colorworks tufted yellow. I'm almost done with that. And I feel like I've, you know, I'm stitching that just to kind of get it out of the way so I can get to all the more brighter, the brighter pinks and mauves and things like that. All right, so then on to electives. Now, one of my electives I already talked about, which was divination. I chose my other two. I chose Arithmancy and Muggle Studies. So for Arithmancy, I chose a new start, and this is actually gonna be for my swap. So shh, my fall swap. I had said I was gonna do October Feast, which was that one that has the cute squirrel and stuff. My concern is I don't know that I'd have time to finish it. Um, I love the pattern, I'm gonna do it for myself. But usually those patterns by Brenda, while they are small, and they, but they are color dense. There's lots of different colors to make them look so amazing. And that fiddly color changing just is not gonna work. So I went on and found, this is by Winding Stitches, and she's on Etsy, Winding Stitches. And this is one of her, it's tiny something, I can't remember. But anyway, this is the one uniform. And I don't, I looked at this and went, you know what, if I tilted it just like that, those look like owl eyes. Maybe. So I don't know if this fits within the category of being a fall stitch, but I'm gonna do it in a, fin I'm gonna use this as a jumping off point to do a um, kind of a unique finish. I don't know exactly what that unique finish is gonna be yet, but it's coming. So this is on another piece of that eight by eight, 18 count that I got in the color and cotton grab bag. And I don't know what colorway this is, but I love it. And that is where my start is so far. And I am stitching this using a silks for you. Um, and I have a whole hank of this that I have planned out for ink circles, henna mandala. But I wound off just a little bit onto, so you can see in the bottom. So it's got these really pretty like Bordeaux and cocoa brown and garnet red. So, and then on this really pretty khaki, khaki bordering on mustard. It's going a little mustard. But I love this so far. This is the top. Okay, there we go. So there's where I am so far. Let me see if I can get, it's not. And I just love, they're so put, such cute little stitchies. So anyway, um, I am going to try to fit this in some more this weekend because I need to get this one finished. Because my swap is due the same day, sent out the same day that we're already at Great Wolf. So that means I have to have it out before that. The middle of the week sending things is tough. This is, I went ahead and bought some of these pouches um, on eBay. I have like 16 of them now and so I've got my two new starts in here. I do not have time right now to make any fabric pouches. Um, I have plenty of fabric too, I just don't have time. So I am going to put that on my agenda for one of my breaks from school. All right, very last one, I chose Muggle Studies. And I chose to use Wizard Pusheen and this is stretching it maybe a little bit. Um, but I said that Wizard Pusheen is obviously showing the wizard way of using a broom, which is to ride it. 
and that some wizards might be confused by how we as muggles use it to clean our house because obviously they could just zap their wand and clean their floors like that. So that was my reasoning. So I put a little over 100 stitches in here. And this is on a piece of 16 count picture this plus in Demoiselle, which is really cool like light blue with then like hot pink and yellow and other things. So the scarf is completely done and I did a Ravenclaw conversion and then I've started to stitch his rear. So this was a week of rears, stitching rears. Um, and I'm doing another unique conversion on this. I think I've mentioned it in a previous video. I'm not gonna go into it right now. And this one's in my Quidditch, my Quidditch Hogwarts pouch. So that was my homework. So um, I did 100 stitches in each. I think I posted them all. I'm fairly certain I've posted them all. So if you hung in through all that, awesome job plans this week or the, even just this weekend. I mean, obviously homework's going to come back out for next week. Although I am tempted to, depending upon what homework is, spend some time working on some of my other monthly things. We'll see. I mean, sometimes I just need feel like I need a slight break from one, like I don't want to get burnout. And I'm starting to feel that way a little bit. And like nothing against the folks who run um, Magical School of Magical Stitches, Vicki and Kat. They're amazing. But like I also have already sat down and planned out my Crazy Whips and Domino Effect. I planned out, you know, my 24-hour um, cross stick crop. 24 hours of cross stitch across stick. Ooh, that's a tongue twister. And I really want to continue to kind of plug through those. I had made it through domino effect level four. So for 400 stitches before last week's homework. So my thought is tonight, I'm going to go ahead and pull out the one for 500 stitches, see what I can get done on that and just keep trucking along. Some of those overlap with my magical stitches extra credit, specifically carrot forest, Bluebirds and V Fairy and Prairie School Tree Farm. So if I can get past 500, I'm gonna start trick checking some of those off, which is awesome. Um, I also took a, a, uh, a, what do you call it? Inspiration from Jesse Marie and created myself a Whipco board. Now I am not specifically spinning, at this point I'm not spinning a whip go um, like each week kind of like Sammy J does or like two a month that are her focus pieces like Jessie Marie does. I am just going to use this as incentivizing to buy things off my wish list. Um, and I do have goals set up for each of them as to what the finish amount is. A lot of them are finish because they're not very large. Some of them are a large page finish, like advanced two pages. Some of them are a page one finish. Some are finished through part seven. That would be Emerald City Sal. And as I do that, I'm going to mark them off. I had considered putting them in a Tiny Decisions app and starting to spin those and see if I can fit them into weekly homework. I don't know. That's kind of tricky. But um, I did go through and I put all of my whips into a wheel. It was just, I think, the Google wheel. The Google random wheel. And I picked, I put all of them in there. That's not the right thing. Okay, well, I put all my whips in there. There's like 32, I think. And some of them did not get spun as part of Whipco. And some, like, um, one of them was temperature stitch. I don't really feel, I didn't feel like putting that one in. I did not put that one in. So, anywho, Let's talk a little stash. I do not have much. Um, I broke my purchasing thing because Misty had some defect pieces and I am not gonna pass up a piece of 18 count Ada in this pretty yellow. She's working on house colors, Hogwarts house co colors right now. So I think these were two of the defects. They're Ravenclaw gold. They could also be Gryffindor gold. So she had this piece, which is chivalry, which I believe is considered Gryffindor? Yeah, I think so. Um, and this is an 18 count in a 16 by 22 piece, so a great square-ish square, square -ish size piece. This one was only $9. The other one was 12 This is an 18 count, and it's 17 by 22 So one's a little bit lighter, brighter. One's a little darker, more gold in 
and I did not pass them up. Being perfect honest. Now, quickly, because I'm gonna try to, I'm trying to do this on YouTube again, because it uploaded so fast last time. I got my Victoria Mottos, and I will say I have decided to go back down to six a piece for a while because I have so many. So the primitives are giving me life this time. Look at these. Okay, let me do them in two two sets. One, two, three, four, five. So I get I have been getting for the last couple of months twelve. She dies eighteen different ones. So these are the pr limited primitives. Limited primitives. Look at how pretty those are. I, I need to find a pattern for these. Good good variation. Uh, this one is amazing. This is rusted tin roof. It is gonna be so hard to see, but it has grays and pinks and purples and golds in there. So pretty. And then here are the others, the other primitives. So again, a good mix of colors. I love this one. This is um, variegated rust. I love the pinks, so pretty. It's washing them way out. So, those are the primitive ones. So I, and Nancy's so wonderful. I said, Miss Nancy, I need to go back down. And she said, no problem, no problem. Um, so the limited editions, I love these too. Let me just show you. Got, um, I have 12 of these also for now. Next month is going to be six of each. Get that green and that turquoise. Those two together, ugh. squash on the vine. Okay, this might be my new, like my new thing. That and pumpkin vines by Mystic Fabrics. What? Oh, I just saw how that landed on my white skirt. It's got like gold. Oh, so good. Okay, sorry. A little sidetracked. Desert turquoise was that tealy color. Beautiful. Okay, so then we've got a few more. I'm about to hit the end of my time before it clicks me off. Look at those. So pretty. Okay, this one. Okay, I've got one i got to show you. I mean, I've got to show you them all. we got a gold and a green. And then look, yellow rose of Texas. Oh, I love it. So pretty, yellow rose of Texas. And it's a really pretty variegated. And then giant sequoia. So another amazing selection from Miss Nancy. So if you are not familiar, Victoria Motto Sampler Shop. She has, um, if you search for her, she has a blog. And on the blog, she has information on her monthly floss clubs and fabric clubs. I do not do her fabric club. Um, I did sign up for Under the Sea Fabrics Monthly, so that will be coming at some point fairly soon, I think. And then I also signed up for the Needlecraft Corner. Needlecraft Corner? They are partnering with Hand Dyed by Stephanie, so I'm excited to get some of hers. Um, I kind of took a break on some of my other stuff. I took a break on Ship's Manor for right now. I took a break on Color and Cotton for right now. So I've got my Victoria Motto. I've dropped that down. I just have so much stash and I'm running out of room in all my drawers. So for now, I'm kind of taking a break and gonna ease back out. I'm so proud of myself. I have not bought anything on Stash Unload for like two weeks, maybe even three weeks. Yeah, but I will say I did make a purchase today. Um, a uh, Janine blue flower the blue flower who I love all her patterns I'm gonna try to show you this super duper fast posted on her Instagram and of course my Wi-Fi is now going so very very slow I mean oh here we go she posted this finish and it's a drum and it says acorns and it has the cutest squirrels and everything and blah, 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 blah. why is that blowing that all the way there we go. So I said, where do I get this? Please help. And she said, call Acorns and Threads. I think they still have some. So I messaged Acorns and Threads and they're like, yes, we do. Give us your info. We'll send it to you. No tax because it's Oregon. And so I am so excited because Michelle Bendy always talks about how amazing Acorns and Threads is. Yes. Okay. So with that, with on that high note, have a great week. And I will see you so very soon for Floss Tube number 15. Bye, guys.